send it beyond those lines. We saw that in round number one, and hopes are certainly high that she's able to do it here again. Will she be able to overtake that top spot? That is the question we're going to answer right now. She's in silver medal position. Will she stay there? We find out right now. So far, very, very good. Very technical tricks up top. Where Leda threw down the, f the 450 out on that top rail, we saw a switch up back to 70, comparable if not supremely more technical. Nice 450, here she is into the right side, five. I would say marked improvement already from run number one. There's the switch right side, 720, very clean, looking over her right shoulder once again, now into this rail. The ax keeping it fairly basic, trying to keep as much speed as possible into this final hit. Left side, nine, puts it oh to her feet. Oh, my! Johanna Keeley in front of her home country crowd sticks another clean run. Remember, 85 in her first attempt. Needs at least an 88 to overtake Leduc. I don't know, Luke. He's not enough. Oh, what a run. I mean, here's where I'm really impressed. Backside 270 right there. And then here's the front swap back 270 out. Also known as the switch up. And hops on right here, right foot forward. And then she spins a very clean 450 out. Everything's so concise. Her upper body very quiet throughout. And we've got to compare this right side 540 to a, a very solid series of tricks that we saw from Tesla Duh. There's the switch right side, 720 Japan. That really stands out to me as being kind of the highlight of her jump run. Right here, just hopping on switch and coming off forward, maybe right there leaving some something to be desired for the judges, maybe a technical trick right there, 270 on, 270 out, something like that might have contributed to an even higher score, in which case I would say definitely going to overtake the top spot but the 900 down at the bottom. Some aspects of safety were inherent to the final aspect of that run. But up top, I mean, she was so solid. The judges certainly had their work cut out there. If this score beats Lada, expect an absolute eruption from this crowd. Was it enough to overtake Lada? And it was a 90! Killy winning gold on the final run of the contest, incredible. And there's a look at the head coach of the Norwegian team there moments ago. Certainly proud, Luke Allen. And wow, Killy coming in and making it happen, unbelievable. The very first gold medal of X Games Norway goes to a Norwegian. Let's head down to Jack, he's with you on. Killy, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! time where it counted most in your home country. What does this mean to you? Oh, it's so big uh, skiing in front of my parents and family this year again. And I hope it's happening next year as well. <laughs> and how did you handle the pressure at the top, knowing all those high scores put you down lower on the podium? How were you able to handle that pressure up there? I knew that I would get the second place anyways, but I really want the gold here in Norway. And yeah, just skiing and having fun and then, yeah, just landed, so I'm so stoked. What do you have to say to all your friends and family and fans out here that came to cheer you on tonight? I want to thank them so much. Earlier today I couldn't talk to them, so now I'm going to party with them uh, on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Norway, one more time for your hometown hero, Johanna Killy. Congratulations.